Uh, Travis, congratulations on a, a terrific knock. You, you had plenty of intent and energy from the moment you got out there. Was, was that your, your plan? And can you just tell us what you were thinking, given uh, where you came into the match in England on a, just a little bit of a run there for a while? Um, yeah, it was just about being as clear as I possibly could. They started extremely well. That, the couple of sets there that Ollie Robinson bowled um, were quite difficult, and I felt the wicket was, yeah, it was a little bit there. They got on a little bit of run. It was about staying nice and calm. Um, it was nice to have Alex at the other end battle a lot with him. So calm, consistent plans, um, really relaxed and, and just felt like trying to take a bit of momentum out of the game. And, and if, the, if the ball was presented to score, try and score really. Um, the guys that have played positively throughout the game have looked to be a player at the best, I think. There's been quite a bit there for the bowlers um, throughout the game. So it was just trying to gain a bit of momentum back. And then once we gain that, trying to take advantage of it. And, I mean, there was plenty of chat about your selection and, a bit of, you know, whether you'd be in the team. What does it mean to you now you've made that uh, an Ashes century in Brisbane? I mean, I'm guessing it's a, it's a terrific moment in your career. Yeah, it's, it's still pinching myself sort of thing. Like, I can't quite work out what, what quite transpired over the last couple of hours. But um, I want to contribute to Australia and, and Australia wins and hopefully we put ourselves in a nice position. Tomorrow morning's important again to, to continue um, another great day for Australia and, that's what I'm here to do. Um, I was really relaxed throughout the game. Paddy, coaching staff, been fantastic in the way they've handled the last sort of six and seven days and um, and how they wanted to see me play or go about it. And they just want to be myself and, and, and play the game and, and, and play how I see it and um, have got great confidence in that. And um, I was really relaxed over the last two days. I've said that going into camp. This is the most, it, it, it's so enjoyable to be around this group again and contribute in some little way. And, um, Look, today it went my way, but a lot of work was done by the top order. I thought they battled exceptionally well to set that day up to make it possible to do what I was able to do. Um, Travis, we've seen a, a couple of knocks in the Shield and, and that Marsh Cup game as well, and today. Like, is it like a feel thing for you when um, you get a couple of those early boundaries away and you almost feel like it's, 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 it's happening and then you just start playing a few more shots? Um, no, I think, uh, I guess a lot's been spoken about. I th felt like that a little bit where I've got a couple of scores quite quickly and uh, then I missed out a couple of times. So um, I think my technique and my composure at the crease and I was really relaxed today um, and just trying to take that moment in. Now, yeah, I got opportunities to present myself to score and I was able to take them today and, um, and put pressure back on bowlers at certain periods. But I felt like at moments they bowled really well and I, 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 was, I took some chances as well along the way. Definitely at the back end of into the new ball, um, but I feel like I gave myself a great opportunity. I felt like my technique's in a really great space. Um, technically, mentally, I feel like really composed, really relaxed in, in the environment. It's, it's a huge environment. Um, they come extremely hard today, so to be able to be in that moment is a great feeling. Um, I'm not always guaranteed runs. I know that, and that was the same today. I found the first 20 runs really, really tough. Um, the game opened up a little bit. I was able to take my opportunity. That's not going to happen all the time, but I put myself in that position, which is which is pleasing. And just um, uh, on a personal note, like the mop was really working for you, getting a lot of runs, and like was it just for the test match? Maybe it's the no. Um, no. To be honest, I wouldn't be able to fit my hat on. To be honest, there was too much hair going on, and I would have looked quite ridiculous. So um, I needed a haircut for a few weeks. I was pretty lazy. I was pretty lazy on on how my appearance, and sometimes. Um, and we had a shield game one day, a game flew up here and we got into camp, so I left it pretty late to get a haircut, but um, yeah, I'll get one in six months' time again. <laughs> Travis, uh, Pat, by the time Pat came out with that, you were, you were flying. Um, what was the discussion between you two at that point? Um, it was just keep, if the opportunity presented itself, really. We were really relaxed out there. A couple of, um, I guess, our KPIs that we want to tick off, we were talking about. Um, and giving ourselves the opportunity to score runs if they, if they present. And we want to put them under pressure. Um, I think we've seen the way we played throughout the day. We're able to put guys under pressure. Um, and then, yeah, it was important a little period into that new ball to, to ride that wave, I guess, and try to score. But also they gained a lot of momentum back in that period. So it was an important stage. Um, but it was really enjoyable back in Pat. Travis, you, you, so you spoke before the test about the relaxation thing and how you were feeling coming into it and the relaxation being out there. there it was incredibly emotional when you actually reached the century. Was there anything else in there? Was there still a little bit of like relief or, or something that, that sparked that emotion? I'm not sure whether that comes. I just said off the cusp, I guess. I think emotion of being in a great position, 
playing for my country, loving it and just enjoying it. So um, I wouldn't read too much into it. It just comes out how it does. And um, yeah, I'm re representing my country and I'm loving doing it. So um, it's an amazing feeling to get a Test Match 100. I think I said at the start, he just as I, as it happened, like I couldn't believe quite what was going on, and um, yeah, it definitely fell my way at moments today. Um, I definitely rode my luck in, in parts, but all in all, I was able to put Australia in a great position, and that's what I'm here to do, and um, very privileged to be able to do that. And you talk about that great position. Have you had discussions about really being ruthless, being in a position now to try and grind England down early on in this series? Oh, I think that's uh, both camps would have been talking about that for the last 10 days and, and what they want to try to achieve. We spoke about it as a batting group going into the test that in Australia um, we see a lot of bigger scores trying to keep them out in the field. It's extremely hot over the last two days. It's there's some difficult conditions so there's no doubt that both camps would have liked to do that as they bat. They're going to try and do that in the second innings when they play as well. So um, yeah, it's about going out. We haven't really talked about it. We'll talk about it in the morning but um, I think it's pretty obvious what we would like to do is, is continue to bat really well, try and bat as long as possibly we can and, and get ourselves in a great position. Um, Travis, a bit of a scary moment there late in the day. Talk us through the, the bean ball and what was going through your head. Like, did you totally lose it? When did you pick the ball up and, and how are you feeling now? Oh, I've seen it pretty much the whole way. So, um, yeah, lucky to get a bit of hand on it. I think look, my hand took most of the blow. I think I was a little bit surprised with anything, but after a couple of seconds, I knew I was fine. And, um, and Woody was good about it as well. And it obviously, he doesn't mean to do it. I was expecting it to swing in, but I was expecting it to bounce uh, and swing back. But, but these things happen. It was obviously accidental. Um, yeah, we've spoken about it. He's cool. I'm cool about it. Um, we move on. So fortunately, I'm, I'm fine. So no stress. Um, Trav, uh, Davey and, and Manus, as soon as Jack Leach came on, they seemed to show a lot of positive intent. You did the same thing towards him. Was it something that you definitely were trying to sort of target and get on top of him? Um, oh, we, we spoke about being positive against the spin, um, with it being hot. Um, we want, obviously, the bowlers to come back um, as much as we possibly can. So, yeah, we were brave today. I, thought, I, felt, I felt like the, some of the positions that we were in and the way we were able to take him on, um, again, we, we, we had earned the right. The guys have done extremely well to and earned the right to, in their right moments, to turn and take him on. And, I think the, the tempo and the balance nature that they did that in was fantastic. Um, Manus got out doing it. I know he's disappointed, um, but I felt like it set the tone for um, the series. It's not always going to be like that. We know that there's moments that he's going to bowl extremely well and he's going to be important for him. Um, but I guess at the, at the Gabba, when we traditionally know that it's, it's hard against uh, the, the quicks to try and get them as back as possible, quick as possible, um, when it's not spinning as much. And as the game develops, he'll come into the game a little bit more. But I was, uh, yeah, I know the. The group is really proud of the way that the guys set the tone at the start of the day. Thanks, guys. We'll go over to uh, Zoom. We've got um, Ben Horn. Hey, uh, Travis. Um, yeah, mate, good news you were OK from the blow to the chin. But, um, yeah, how is your arm, too? You had to take the painkiller for, for that hit as well. Yeah, unfortunately, a little back elbow. So, um, no, nah, Woody bowled very aggressive today. Um, we knew that how was going to come. Unfortunately, yeah, copped a little one, but nah, fine. I'll look after it tonight as much as I can. Back elbow probably helps a little bit more. Well, it depends how you look at it, because I'm quite bottom heavy sometimes, and today is the case, but um, probably helps me a little bit being top hand, and um, yeah, don't try to use the bottom hand as much. So, um, look after it tonight, but I'm fine, which is nice. There's no, there's no concern of a fracture or anything? No, no, I think it, it was concerned at the start where it hit me, but um, it's not a great place to be hit. We've seen Muhammad Shami get hit a couple of years ago in the same sort of place, but it was a little bit higher and, and sort of got fortunate that, that, yeah, it got me in a nice spot. Um, it's obviously not comfortable, but um, we move on, but structurally no issue, which is fine. We move on. A couple more here, guys. Uh, Andrew Ramsey. Uh, Trav, congrats. Um, I know you spoke to me earlier about you facing a lot of Molly Robinson in the nets at Sussex and he was on a bit of a roll when you got out there. Well, was that a bit of a double-edged sword? Did you know what was coming, but he also laid a pretty clear plan to you? Yeah, well, I think he, he seen me play, so he definitely come with a plan. He knew how he wanted to attack me um, and executed that extremely well in, in my first sort of 20 balls. Um, found it very difficult and vice versa. I knew where well, he was going to come and, and, and didn't expect anything less in the way he bowled. So um, he, was, he, he was fantastic. He kept coming back for them today and he, he bowled well in, in periods for, and put us under a lot of pressure. And, the, and I wasn't surprised going out and facing that and how difficult that was at the start of the, at the end of the day there. So um, he, I know that he's going to come back tomorrow. Him, 
Wokes um, with the new ball and, and Woody was and, and bowled at high pace and put us under pressure as well. So it's going to be an important morning against those three. Last one, guys. James Cole from Sky. Hi, uh, Ben Stokes is struggling with a knee injury and, and Ollie Robinson had to cram and it, you look like you took advantage. Generally speaking, do you sense you've got England on the ropes here? No, I definitely. I wouldn't say on the ropes. Um, we've 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 had two great days um, and. In Australia, I guess you want to keep guys out there as long as possible. Um, we know that they'll come back tomorrow. Both of those guys we're talking about are, are highly competitive, highly tough cricketers, um, and we've seen it time and time again. Um, with Stokesy, we've seen it, and I've seen it personally with Ollie Robinson in, for Sussex, how he's been able to come back, and then his short test career about coming back and, and, and playing high aggression and, and being at us the whole time. And I, I've got no surprise that they'll come back tomorrow um, fresher and, and stronger and try and put us under pressure again. So. Um, not on the ropes, we've had two really good days. We've got to earn right again tomorrow. And it's a long series um, and continue, I guess, the momentum that we, we have currently and, and, and try not to let that go.